నమస్తే శ్రీరామ లవ్ అండ్ రెస్పెక్ట్ ఫుట్ ఆఫ్ లార్డ్ శ్రీరామ క్వశ్చన్ నెంబర్ ఎయిటీ ఇన్ వన్ ఇయర్ క్యాలిపర్ ఇఫ్ ఫార్టీ నైన్ ఎంఎం లెంత్ ఆఫ్ మెయిన్ స్కేల్ ఈస్ డివైడెడ్ ఇన్ టు ఫిఫ్టీ పార్ట్స్ ఆఫ్ వన్ ఇయర్ స్కేల్ దెన్ లిస్ట్ కాన్ విల్ బి ఆప్షన్ ఏ జీరో పాయింట్ జీరో వన్ మిలీమీటర్ ఆప్షన్ బి జీరో పాయింట్ జీరో టూ మిలీమీటర్ ఆప్షన్ సి జీరో పాయింట్ వన్ మిలీమీటర్ ఆప్షన్ డి జీరో పాయింట్ టూ మిలీమీటర్ కరెక్ట్ ఆన్సర్ ఈస్ ఆప్షన్ బి జీరో పాయింట్ జీరో టూ మిలీమీటర్ సో ఫస్ట్ రైట్ ద గివన్ డాటా సో ఇన్ వర్నీ క్యాలిపర్ ఇస్ ఇఫ్ ఫార్టీ నైన్ ఎంఎం లెంత్ ఆఫ్ మెయిన్ స్కేల్ సో దెన్ ఫార్టీ ద ఫార్టీ నైన్ ఎంఎస్టీ సో డివైడెడ్ ఇన్ టు ఫిఫ్టీ పార్ట్స్ ఆఫ్ వన్ ఇయర్ స్కేల్ సో దెన్ ద ఫిఫ్టీ విఎస్ట్ సో దెన్ ఫైండ్ ద లీస్ట్ కౌంట్ విల్ బి సో ఫస్ట్ టేక్ ద అజమ్స్ వన్ ఎంఎస్టీ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు వన్ మిలీమీటర్ సో వీ నో దాట్ ద లీస్ట్ కౌంట్ ఈస్ ద డిఫరెన్స్ ఆఫ్ వన్ ఎంఎస్టీ అండ్ వన్ విఎస్టి దట్ ఈస్ వన్ ఎంఎస్టి మైనస్ వన్ విఎస్టి సో సో వన్ ఎంఎస్టి వీ నో దట్ వన్ ఎంఎం సో వన్ విఎస్టి సో వీ హ్యావ్ టు ఫైండ్ ద వన్ విఎస్టి సో వాల్యూ ఆఫ్ వన్ సో ఫ్రమ్ ద గివన్ డాటా ఇన్ ద క్వశ్చన్స్ సో ఫ్రమ్ గివన్ డాటా సో ఫిఫ్టీ విఎస్టి ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు ఫార్టీ నైన్ ఎంఎస్టి సో వీ వాంట్ 1 VST. So, just we can substitute this 50 value to the right side of equal sign. So, then it will become 49 divided by 50 MST. So, 1 VST is 49 divided by 50 MST. So, instead of 1 VST, we can write 49 divided by 50 MST. Okay. Here MST, here also MST. So, take common MST. From the bracket so then it will 1 minus 49 divided by 50 mst so if you simplify this step then we will get 50 minus 49 divided by 50 mst so 50 minus 49 that is 1 divided by 50 mst mst is nothing but one mean scale division is equal to one millimeter so if you simplify this 1 divided by 50 that is 0.02 millimeter so note 1 mst is equal to 1 main scale division 1 vst is equal to 1 1 year scale division lc that is list count so for question number 80 in a 1 year caliper a 49 mm length of main scale is divided into 50 parts of 1 year scale the least count will be the correct answer is option b that is 0.02 millimeter Next, question number 81. A micrometer has 0.03 millimeter positive errors. If a micrometer reads 20.43 millimeter, then actual reading is option A, 20.40 millimeter. Option B, 20.46 millimeter. Option C, 20.49 millimeter. Option D, 20.47 millimeter. So, correct answer is option A, 20.40 millimeter. So, this is a positive zero error from this micrometer as 0.03 mm positive errors. So the actual reading is equal to micrometer reading minus positive errors. So that is micrometer reading that is 20.43. Micrometer reading is 20.43. So minus positive error is 0.03 is positive error. 
so if you subtract these two numbers we will get 20.43 millimeter so that is actual reading for question number 81 a micrometer has 0.03 mm millimeter positive error if micrometer reads 20.43 millimeter then the actual reading is option a that is 20.40 millimeter next question 82 the rolling ball bearing are preferred to general bearing because option a they are anti-friction bearing option b needs minimum or no lubrication option c available in standard sizes option d all of the above for this question correct answer is option d all of the above for question number 82 the rolling ball bearing are preferred to general bearing because correct answer is option d all of the above question number 83 best example of gravity feed lubrication is option a ring lubricator option b grease gun option c tell doll lubricator option d wick feed lubricator for this question correct answer is wick feed lubricator wick type lubricator this lubricator operates on caliper action it consists of a cup having a central tube and a shank which can be screwed into the oil hole oil is carried to the bearing by the combined action of capillarity and gravity so for question number 83 best example for gravity feed lubrication is correct answer is option d that is wick feed lubricator next question question number 84 the hammer which is used for bending stretching hammering into shoulder in a side curve is called option a cross pin hammer option b ball pin hammer option c straight push hammer option d soft hammer for correct answer for this question is cross pin hammer cross pin hammer this is similar to ball pin hammer in shape and size except that the pin which is across the shaft or eye this is mainly used for bending stretching hammering into shoulders inside curve etc so for question number 84 the hammer which is used to for bending stretching hammering into shoulder inside curve is called correct answer is option a cross pin hammer question number 85 on single cut files the teeth are cut parallel to other across the file at an angle of about option a 45 degree option b 60 degree option c 80 degree option d 30 degree correct answer is option b 60 degree single cut file it has rows of teeth cut in one direction across its face the teeth are at angle of 60 degree to the central line so use for filing soft metals like brass aluminium bronze so question number 85 on single cut files the teeth are cut parallel to other across the file at an angle of about correct answer is option b 60 degree question number 86 in axe of blade in which of the following type setting 
one teeth is bent on one side the next teeth kept flat and the third on the opposite side of the first option a alternate setting option b racker setting option c heavy pay setting option d teeth setting correct answer is option b racker setting that's the diagram of racker set perfect for cutting into thick metals the teeth are placed in set of three so for question number 86 in the axe blade in which of the following type setting one teeth is bent on one side the next is kept flat and the third on the opposite side of the first so correct answer is option b that is like a setting next question 87 the diamond point chisel is used for option a flat surface option b round surface option c v-shaped grooves option d spherical surface correct answer is option c v-shaped grooves thus the diagram diamond point chisel the cut as v-shaped grooves so for question number 87 a diamond point chisel is used for correct answer is option c v-shaped grooves question number 88 the prick punch has an angle of option a 50 degree option b 60 degree option c 30 degree option d 40 degree correct answer is option c 30 degree prick punch the prick punch is a tool steel rod whose one end as a tapered point ground to approximately an included angle of 30 degree it is used for making a small indentation or establishing points for dividers and travel points so for question number 88 the prick punch has an angle of correct answer is 30 degree next question question number 89 the resistance of a material to elastic deformation is called option a strength option b stiffness option c toughness option d resiliency for question number 89 correct answer is stiffness stiffness the resistance of a material to elastic deformation or deflection is called stiffness or rigidity a material which suffers slight deformation under load has a high degree of stiffness or rigidity example steel beam is more stiffer or more rigid than aluminium beam so for question number 89 the resistance of material to elastic deformation is called the answer is option b stiffness question number 90 which of the following metal has higher specific gravity option a iron option b silver option c copper option d aluminium for this question correct answer is option b silver so here yeah, substances given in the first column and in second column specific gravity so in this question they are asking which of the following metal has higher specific gravity correct answer is option b silver thank you for watching jai shri rama